normally this robot is supposed to be does not want to cut grass in the rain because other robot generations uh, can cut grass in the rain or designed to cut wet grass but even typically I think ro robotic mowing should not cut grass in the rain because the uh, it can just make the blade stickier uh, the, but uh, the robot can get stuck in the mud a lot easier. That's why this robot is meant not to go out and cut grass in the rain. So uh, talking about rain and the rain gauge, this robot has a rain gauge on it. I have not personally been able to identify where it's at, but I believe it's in the chassis area of the robot. And what it does is it will, if sprinklers will hit it, and um, it will actually prevent the robot from going out. And then we put a, a rain delay timer on of 180 minutes. Now I will show you how to adjust that, but don't. I would recommend don't change it. The whole point is that you don't need to change it. Wait three hours so the grass dries out. Say if it rains in the morning and you have your sprinklers run in the morning and it hits the robot, even if it's in the garage, which mine does, um, you don't want to change that setting. But let me just say this. I've seen this the garage system work now. And what happens, say there's a storm coming out. Right now there's storm clouds coming out. And what's going to happen is that this robot is going to be in this in its little home, in its garage, and it's going to be let's say it's a, let's assume that the rain from the uh, that's happening is not getting on the robot, so the rain gauge is not triggering. What will happen is your robot will go out as normal during its scheduled time, then immediately the rain sensor will trigger, and then it will follow the entire boundary wire loop back to the docking station. That's one disadvantage of the robot in the garage system is that it will occasionally run out potentially into stormy weather on its way back. Now, as it's doing that, the mower and everything will be powered down, and this robot is designed to wade in about two inches of water anyways, so it's actually pretty durable. The The weakness, the real weakness is that um, it can get stuck on slopes, like muddy slopes and things like that, and these are all adjustments that we can make if we notice your robot getting stuck. My yard doesn't have that issue. You know, we're gonna offer a sod replacement so we can replace those uh, patchy and muddy areas for you and fix up your yard to really bring the eligibility of our robotic mowing to your yard even more. But I'm just telling you that's one potential disadvantage to the garage, but the advantages, there's advantages and disadvantages and the advantages far outweigh the disadvantages of the garage system.